No, you, you talk about law school, and I think it's interesting to know because I think we're both feminists. I never considered myself a feminist. Uh, all during my professional career, whether it be a lawyer or a judge, I never belonged to a woman's organization. I didn't want to be, it wasn't, I wasn't a woman lawyer, I was a lawyer who happened to be a woman, and I wasn't a woman judge, I was a judge who happened to be a woman. I actually never felt, probably I was too stupid to know that I was held back at any time because of, uh, because of my gender. Uh, and I still don't, I still don't feel as if there was any time in my life when I thought that being a woman held me back. You define yourself. If you let other people define you, that's a mistake. So I never felt the need to have a feminine organization behind me, although I'm sure that in some way they were assistance to me along the way. I, I think it's funny, you know, I, I think of feminism as the social, political, and economic equality for men and women. So, you know, I wish, I wish people would embrace the term because I think it, it's gotten a bad rap. So, so it's interesting for me to hear you say it, it's almost like you don't want to be associated with feminism. No, because I don't think a movement, actually, Katie, helped me. Being part of an organization never defined me. I, I think of feminism as the social, political, and economic equality for men and women. You're an idiot! <laughs>